What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Adventures. Today we are at an abandoned military base. I've driven past this place many times. Was never had en enough balls to go in. But now I finally gained the courage to try and get in here. There is active security around here. There's a security car guard at the front. And there's signs saying trespassers are prosecuted and all that. And saying you will be fined like a thousand bucks two thousand bucks stuff like that so it's pretty high risk but hopefully we don't get caught or arrested today besides that this might go down as the topic sport so we'll see you guys when we're in there kind of smashed. Wow, this is epic, guys. And because this place is so popular and so well known, I actually have some history on this place. I think it was built in the late 1910s for World War One. It was used for World War Two and used as like a base camp for nurses. Or bees. Shit, um, for World War II. And because they didn't need it anymore, it went abandoned in 2001, and this is the current state of it. So this, we're in 2020 now, so it's been abandoned for about 19 years. But everything looks so much more older than it actually probably is because it was built so long ago. Look there, that's pretty cool. What's behind here? Oh, no, not so much. So, there's more of the base there. There's a chair just standing there in the wall. Might have been like workspaces or something, I'm not really sure. Seems to be like a dark room. See what this consists of. There's the sink and not much else. Some jars. Pretty cool first building. And there's a the river down there as well. I reckon once we get towards the back would be cooler. Yeah. Because the factory's back there, the there'll be lots of houses. So another thing about this place, guys, that I didn't mention before, it has well over 100 different buildings. There's a factory, there's houses, there's all sorts of stuff here. And we've just checked out one, one of over 100 buildings. Pretty cool. Got to turn you guys around now. Oh my God, wow, look how cool this is. This is awesome. Some graffiti in the background over there. Holy shit, wow, this is awesome. Paint peeling everywhere as well. Like the control tower, just, wow. Natural decay. It's just natural decay. Barely touched. Kind of just collapsed, I think. Onto the roof here. It's all, yeah. Wow. The roof has just completely collapsed as well. The rest of it's all broken, shattered. You name it, tree falling on top of it as well. It's like, holy shit. Then we turn around and it goes all the way down. Oh my God. 
This is so cool. This is honestly so cool. I can't believe I'm here exploring this. Wow. I can't believe this. Oh, there's lamps and all that. That's a cool shot. Wow. There's a perspective of how long this hallway is. That at least goes down 100 meters. No joke. 100 meter hallway, guys. Wow. What a shot that is. I've seen these in, already in the last building as well. I don't know what they are or what they hold. Maybe it's just like electricity or gas. What does the sign say? Control volts. Um, so yeah, electricity. Australian General Electricity Limited. So that would have um, powered the place. Look at how cool this shot is. That's just incredible. Another one of those pieces. That's actually pretty cool. Look at how old this door is. It's literally fallen apart and it's probably been, because it's made of wood, it's probably been eaten away by termites and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I can't believe we're successfully exploring this place. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is awesome in here. No graffiti whatsoever, just natural decay, peel and paint, just empty here. Yeah. That's so pretty. All right, guys, I'm just gonna um, take a bit of a wander through these hallways. This particular area, Kind of reminds me of like a jail. Like they look like cells, like, and they go on for a long way as well. There's about probably 30 of them, maybe more. I doubt they would have imprisoned um, people in a military base, but this kind of looks like a like, what was this for? I don't know, maybe it was to help, you know, no. Keep people captive, maybe? Um, hide people? I don't know. <laughs> but it sure is a cool building. Holy shit. Basically, That's where we are, guys, that. that blue dot. And we've only just explored probably around that area there. We've got all of that to go. We came across Melbourne. Wait, hang on. You see that thin spinning at the top there? Yeah. Surely that's not still on. Like, why is that one spinning, not the other one? That's weird. Yeah. That looks cool over there. It's like bugs life in here, guys. There's bugs attacking me all over the place. I oh, know. This, this is incredible. animals in here possibly got no idea oh this is cool let's go through here now i'll try and dissect all the equipment i wanted this for you even though i don't really know what myself it is but 
Just look for labels and that will tell you what it is. Was your limited rose patient? I don't understand any of that, so it's something more difficult than I thought. Um, Oh, it's this microwave looking thin. Commonwealth of Australia. These buttons, nope. Electronics. Star Delta Starter. I gotta be careful down here because I think that's that's not a big drop, but that would hurt. We're walking towards houses, I think, and this other big building ahead of us. Skip one, I'm so happy. Where? One up there. Yeah. They would have a pretty decent view of all of this. Yeah. Imagine if we lived in that house, just come here like every day. Don't have to explore it all in one hit. Yeah, I know. This is pretty interesting. And kind of scary. Dark doorway. All right. These, this equipment here look like they might pumps, I don't know what. So pretty dusty now. Take more of, yeah, I guess I would have pumped something with these like tubes running along here. This is so old. Oh, look up here. This is awesome. This... This is incredible in here. Look at these. I guess that's to do with the weight. Um, what did these signs say? Staying always open. I don't know. This would have been like a thin, like to push it around, rotate it, I guess. Um, I don't know. Did he look in there? Alright, that's our next stop. What do you reckon all these tracks would have been used for? Something. Like trucks, maybe, cordon stuff? Some train to carry stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's check out what's in this little hut. Uh, Climbed up that ladder, that was really awfully difficult to get up. Need the stretch a lot. That's what we most recently explored, that little part down there, the house. All out there is where we've already explored. Another building, um, small buildings there. There is more stuff over there. I'm not sure that far thin. You can see that's pretty big. Is the factory or not? Because it does look different. So I guess the factory is all shit almost fell. More down that way. There's a little house there, there's so much more of it. What a view this is. Absolutely incredible. Go through that or walk around. Walk around. All oh, this looks untouched. Yeah.
more prickly plants. Western Cal to Poth. Oh, there's the factory right there. You see that big yeah. thing? That's the factory. Yeah. And it looked pretty big as well in pictures. Yeah. Not size of Bradmill or anything, but probably that main part of Bradmill, it's big like that. Like honestly, that could be an explore in itself. Yeah. Wait, let's check out here, guys. This one's very, very untouched. So far, uh, it's like there's nothing much in here. Maybe just a small workspace. Could put folders in there. Look like there's whiteboards out there. Most other whiteboards that I was speaking of just before. So this might be in a workspace. Oh yeah. Well, this looks cool in here. Couple chairs. It's really cool. Mill wave. And also, guys, I plan on doing a bit of a narration for this video, like. I'll put in a big speech about the information of this place and what went down at this place at the start of the video. So I'll give you a gist of what this place was about and all that. So that will be pretty cool as well. I'll do uh, some narrations throughout the video as well because it'll be a long one and I want to try new stuff in 2020 and try and do new stuff for my channel and like as you could see with the dentist video, it was just a few minute long video with music playing over. I'll do a couple of those. Like I'll do lots of things with my channel, see what works best. And yeah, it'll be all about experimenting for my channel this year. And hope we're at 101 subscribers at the moment. I'm hoping to hit 1K by the end of the year. I am setting that goal for myself. I'm going to hit 1K by 2021. So hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Road to 1K. I don't know why, guys. I don't know why, guys. But I love that shot. That's so cool. So I have grown a little. Three nine nine. This is absolutely torn in pieces. I'm going to try and walk across this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably not worth it. Nice and cool in here. About that. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Look at 
demonence there. Let's take a look at that. That's definitely teeth. That, that looks like a skull. Oh, yeah. It's like a small bird. Wow. Shaping it. There's animals going down all about here. That's our second animal bone of the day. Pretty big one. Mm. So animals do kind of roam around this place, guys. We did see a rabbit before. There's so many ants, and these ants are kind of big as well. This is Animal Central. I'm just scared they'll climb up. Yeah, but they're on your feet. Alright. Let's walk on here. If we can. This really is Animal Century. This we've seen. That's the whole. Oh. I just got stuck by the tree. <laughs> there's lots of these big ants everywhere. There. There's animal bones, there's rabbits. Won't be surprised if there's kangaroos or snakes around as well. 